right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. So the pre-judging for the 2024 Mr. Olympia 212 division just wrapped up, and it's about what we expected here. So it looks like your top four is going to include Kareth Bajo, Angel Calderon, and Keon Pearson and Sean Clarita in the center. So the main battle is between Keon and Sean. They were in the center the entire time. Keon being the defending champion, Sean being the former champion. So let's talk about it here. So at the press conference, Sean said his plan was to downsize a little bit to come in sharper and tighter. He said he was weighing about 175 pounds the day of the press conference, he said, which was less than his first two Olympia wins, less than he weighed on stage at those shows. So last year, he said he tried to come in a few pounds bigger and that's what led him to being a little bit off conditioning wise. So this year he's saying he's intentionally downsized, but I'm thinking watching this call out, he downsized a little bit too much. Was he a little bit tighter than Keon? Yeah, I think so. But Keon, instead of coming in smaller, Keon came in bigger. I believe he said he's like five pounds heavier here. And to me, it looks like Sean is just purely getting overwhelmed by Keon's size now. And Keon was in good shape. He was in good condition, slightly better than last year, slightly bigger than last year. But I think one example when I say I think Sean is getting overwhelmed by Keon's size here, look at the lower bodies. I think Sean coming in lighter here really took away from his legs. His legs look a lot smaller here to me. And compared to Keon, when you watch the back poses, Sean's legs, his hamstrings, his glutes, they look really pretty small next to Keon. And if you talk about conditioning, Keon's hamstrings are way more dug out, way more visible, way more separated than Sean Carita. So in the upper body, I feel like Sean looks a little bit tighter than Keon, but in the lower body, you look at him from the back and even from the side, there's a lot of separation and detail and things going on in Keon's legs, and they're bigger than Sean's, like a lot bigger. In the other area, too, where I felt Sean lost some significant size, and he never had a really strong chest, but if you look at his chest compared to Keon, maybe he's in a little tighter conditioning than Keon, but Keon's chest is just so much bigger and fuller than Keon or than Sean's. So if you look at all the factors, you got to knock out the champ. Did Sean knock out Keon here? I think no. I think Keon wins this. I think when you consider all the factors, Keon's significantly bigger. He's in comparable condition. Sean's a little bit tighter than him, but I think Keon has everything pretty much better than Sean. More muscle better flow, better symmetry. And I say that because I noticed a little imbalance between Sean's legs. One leg is clearly bigger than the other. So I don't think Sean being slightly tighter than Keon here is going to be enough to win the title back. I think Keon overwhelms him here and I think Keon's going to win this. And it kind of sucks for Sean because he did fix the problem from last year. If he felt the problem was coming in too big so he sacrificed conditioning, and so this year he came in lighter to be in better condition, and I don't think that worked for him either because I think he looked way too small here next to Keon. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Who do you guys have winning? Me personally, I just don't think Sean did enough to come in here and beat Keon. They both look improved from last year, and Keon just looks significantly bigger, just overall I think better than Sean at this point. But let me know down below. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, click that bell notification icon if you have not already. And as always, love you guys. Appreciate you guys. Nick Strength and Power signing out. All right, guys. Today's video is brought to you by the Arnold Sports Festival. Go to their website, arnoldsports.com. Buy some merch. Buy some tickets for next year. Watch the replay of last year's live stream for free and look forward to and anticipate Another live stream in 2025. I was born a bodybuilder and I will die a bodybuilder. This is the number one bodybuilding show in the world. It was really spectacular.
We're gonna go up to $500,000 for the winner next year. All right, guys, don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to this channel if you enjoy the content. Also, check out my Instagram at Nick Strength Power. My Facebook page, which is simply Nick Strength and Power. My secondary YouTube channel, Nick Strength and Vlogs, for vlogs and bonus content that you will not see on this channel. And consider subscribing to my third YouTube channel, Nick Strength and Pokemon, which is all things Pokemon and trading card games completely unrelated to this channel. So if you're into that, give that one a look. And all links to merchandise and social media will be in the description box below. If you guys want a Nick Strength and Power t-shirt, that will be in the Shopify link below. Have a great day.